calling to my lovely teachers and my fellow friends. My name is Hannah Yong Kai Ching from Force of Fire. Today, I would like to talk about a day in the life of a carbon atom. There once was a little carbon atom who lived peacefully under the ground. It was dark and peaceful, and although the little carbon atom was occasionally lonely, he lived a happy life. One day, the little carbon atom was minding his own business. All of a sudden, his life was turned upside down. He was collected by large machines that cut the ground. He was then put in a large truck with lots of other frightened little carbon atoms. They traveled for what felt like forever. <clears throat> the journey was long and boring. The little carbon atom finally arrived at the large power plant. There, the little carbon atom was burned in a great big furnace. When in the furnace, something marvelous happened. The little carbon atom lost its earthly body. It was floating into the sky. It was getting higher and higher. It was free and everything was great. Then something extraordinary happened. The little carbon atom met up with his best friends, O1 and O2. The little carbon atom was so happy. He hadn't seen his best friends for 360 million years. The three atoms were so happy to see each other. They formed a strong bond, and from that day on, they were known as carbon dioxide. Reunions were happening all over the place. Lots of little carbon atoms were meeting up with oxygen atoms. Life was good. It was like a one big party, but then something happened. The party was getting too big, the dance floor was getting too crowded, the music was getting too loud, and the dance moves were getting too fast. But still the carbon dioxide atoms kept coming. The little carbon atom was not happy anymore. Meanwhile, some clever people noticed the out of the control party. That was happening over their heads and decided to hatch a plan. They wanted to save other carbon atoms from the same fate as the little carbon atom. About the same time, there was another little carbon atom called the dog, who used to be crammed into the ground with lots of other carbon atoms. But now, he had been disturbed, disturbed from his endless life by a machine that decided to scoop him out of the ground and dump him into the back of a truck with complete strangers. The dog was extremely frightened, as were most of the atoms in the truck marked oxygen. After a long trip, all of the little atoms were dumped into a tank that covered with hot oxygen. The hot oxygen atoms were pulling and grabbing at the dog. He felt as if everyone wanted a piece of him. After a while, the feeling stopped. He looked to his left and right and realized he was attached to two hot oxygen atoms. He was no longer unhappy. They floated around with the steam, wondering what will happen next. The dog thought he would finally be able to rest after his extremely long day, but unfortunately, his day was far from over. All of a sudden, he and his two oxygen friends felt like they were being pulled into a vacuum cleaner. However, when the dog looked around, he saw he and his friends were in a huge pile, surrounded by iron carbon and oxygen atoms. He was going away by the others, but he felt so scared. The dog was being forced down for what seemed like an eternity. It suddenly occurred to him that he was extremely cold and he had to put on his new beanie and scarf. A long time later, the temperature soared so high, he had to put on his shades, sunscreen, and singer. At times along the pipe, the dog was completely squished between other atoms, and other times he had loads of space to himself. All the while, he was wondering when his journey would end. The dog was still traveling through the pipe when he heard another carbon atom say, I think we are going to an empty gas field. A dog wondered why they were going there. 
Then he remembers something from his father told him before. He wants to explore the atmosphere. For as long as he could remember, the dog that had said, We are one of the most important parts of the earth. Everything that has lived or is living is made out of us. To have such an important role involves having a long rest. For 360 million years, we need to rest underground to form a coal. After a long day, the dog knew his journey was coming to an end. He was about to go back underground. Suddenly, he had a feeling, the feeling of a hero. Because he knew that after his very long rest, he will become something that will help the humans and he will be able to complete this journey again at the end. Thank you.